back to my channel and another video so it's going to be another what i eat in a day i have got back off holiday yesterday hence i've got a little bit of a tan i don't know if you can tell so yeah we're getting back on track back eating some good nutritious foods again i was only away for three days on a hen weekend but obviously i feel like i had about 10 grams of protein the whole three days so i'm looking forward to getting back on track today um, so this morning I just had my usual coffee, then I've been having my electrolytes which is just this and some collagen, the extra protein in it as well so I think it's about 10 grams of protein for a serving, it's good to vlog your hair, skin and nails and stuff like that, so yeah that is just what I've had this morning. Also again this week's video is sponsored by the Get Lean Calorie Counter and Tracker app. I'll put it here like the um, icon of what it looks like on the app store and of course I will leave all the information below so there is a free version you can use but there's also a paid version I'll pop on screen like the prices I've been using this app for two weeks now so when you sign up there is like a big questionnaire so it's all like personalized to you you will put in you know your age your weight your height if you want to lose like half a pound a week a pound a week pound and a half a week you can kind of choose and then it gives you a protein option of how much protein you want to have which I think is so important especially you know whether you're on a weight loss journey or not you should definitely be eating high protein it keeps you fuller for longer you don't want to be losing muscle like when you lose fat you don't want to lose muscle so you want to be eating high protein I personally have a protein goal of at least 100 grams a day it's like the minimum that I aim for obviously not every day is perfect but that is what I aim for so my goals personally I believe they're 1600 I'll pop it on screen what the app gave me so obviously this was all personalized to my goals I've put in a pound and a half a week so yeah this is what the app gave me and I feel like it gave me a really good calorie goal it wasn't too restrictive like other apps can be also there is a smart AI food recognition section on the app so if you don't want to like weigh everything out to the gram I'd say like for me personally when I'm in more of a maintenance phase I'll definitely use the AI feature on the app you can just type in the meal and it gives you like an estimate like calories and protein and I think that is definitely a really good feature I haven't really seen any other apps that have that feature on it so I do love that on the app and obviously it has a barcode scanner and um, if there's anything that isn't recognised because obviously now and again something you don't recognise you can like manually enter the calories, carbs, protein, fats I believe and just manually enter it in and it's really quick and easy to use to be honest so yeah I think I've covered all of the basics of the app if you've got any questions leave it in the comments and obviously like I said I will leave the link in the description if you want to check it out and I will just you know put the screenshots for each meal and anything I have today from the app of what I'm having so let's get into this video with breakfast so breakfast I'm gonna have a protein thin with some bacon and an egg um, so I mean I have normal bagels as well but I just fancied these ones I think they're 8 or 9 grams of protein 154 calories and then I always get the thick cut bacon I do cut the fat off mine but I literally just scan it as it says here 140 calories for two rations of bacon I always account for spray oil and obviously an egg so I'm just going to do this now So it is now time for lunch. I'm thinking something like a yogurt bowl. Greek yogurt is really high in protein and it is so hot this week in the UK that I'm just not really feeling like a hot meal, especially for lunch. So I'm gonna grab the ingredients and show you what I'm having. So this is my favourite Greek yogurt. Love this and I always buy it every week. I'm gonna put on this high fibre. Um, special K cereal. I do usually have strawberries but I didn't order any this week. I've got grapes so I'm just going to use grapes. I've got like loads of dark chocolate but I've got this mini one so I'm, I might as well just use this. I don't really eat dark chocolate on its own but when it comes to yogurt bowls I'll crush them in like a yogurt bowl and make it more interesting. And then for on top I'm going to use honey and if you didn't want to use honey if you want to make it a bit more more flavour I love like the toffee sauce or the caramel sauces you can get. Um, so yeah this is going to be a really quick and hopefully high protein lunch depending how much Greek yogurt you have 
obviously this is where all your protein is so depending on amounts around 400 calories i'm not sure i'll put it on screen anyway back from swimming my hair is a mess i'm just gonna shove it back in a plait lost half my eyelashes probably while swimming well i've lost a few definitely i think we're actually gonna go meet my mum and dad haven't seen them for all about a week so we're gonna go down there's visit them i'm not sure if we're just gonna chill in the garden or whatever the plan is to come home and do dinner i'm gonna take my water bottle with me as well because it's so hard i want to get dehydrated and uh yeah catch up in a bit good evening so i'm currently home now it is half eight and yeah obviously we ended up going out for food you'll have seen some footage of it like it weren't the plan but it was such a nice day that we thought we'd go somewhere sit outside and have some food um so we ended up going to um a place that we love this place to go there all the time and i mean the calories were on the menu which does make it a lot easier to track even though it's obviously not 100 percent accurate it's well it's definitely one of the healthiest things on the menu and it's also something that i really like so the fish cakes and the baby potatoes um i've had a few times now i think it's around 640 calories something like that but i'll, I'll pop it here on screen anyway and we ended up going to a pub beforehand i had one gin and lemonade and then had one glass of prosecco with my dinner so i did slightly go over calories but it's fine it's not the end of the world it was like not that many calories over and that is life sometimes some things sometimes you know things come up and then you can't exactly stick to the exact calories that you planned every day overall my daily calories was 1797 so that was 192 calories over my goal which is fine um fat was 73 grams of fat um, 139 grams of carbs and 100 grams of protein so considering i've been out and had a couple of drinks like it's not that bad breakfast was 402 calories 24 grams of protein lunch was 460 calories 35 grams of protein and dinner which i manually entered because i couldn't find it on the app um I just man manually entered what was on the website for the carbs, fats, protein and the calories. With the Prosecco, the gin and the meal, that was 801 calories, which is definitely not too bad. And uh, 24 grams of protein, which is definitely low for dinner. And then my snacks, I just put in like my drinks in the snack section of the app, which was the collagen, the electrolyte and a coffee. So yeah, that is my full day of food. Thoroughly enjoyed my day. Honestly, I've not really recorded a what I eat in a day where I've randomly gone out for food because I don't know, I just find it's maybe it's not that interesting to watch. So that is everything for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week. <music>